Also here tonight at 530, coping with tragedy. The special things happening right now in Dearborn Heights in the wake of that heinous killing of four children. It has been three days since the tragic loss of those four children, and three days later, the sting and disbelief is still there. And now as Gregory Green sits behind bars without bond, the community trying to come together to deal with this overwhelming grief. Coco McAvoy is in Dearborn Heights tonight. Coco, hearts have to still be so heavy there. It's still such an unspeakable thing. Devin and Sandra, that's so true. You know, it's just hard to even fathom what happened here at this Dearborn Heights home. And we've seen community members come in droves, just delivering teddy bears and candles and balloons, trying to show their support. And we also spoke with first responders who say they go through that same pain and they've been using their special training to try to just deal with this grief. Firefighters are always ready. No matter the call. But you can never really prepare for a scene like that of Wednesday morning at this Dearborn Heights home. Four-year-old Kaylee, five-year-old Coy, 17-year-old Kara, and 19-year-old Chadney, all brutally killed. First responders are affected because they're there on the scene, and then the dispatchers will be affected because they're, they're taking the calls. They're not actually seeing, so they're letting their imagination run wild with what might be going on. Justin Newman from the Dearborn Heights Fire Department just got back from critical incident stress management training the day before and was called in immediately to help his colleagues. If we give them the information and let them know that these things are going to be happening to them, it's going to happen for the next couple weeks possibly, but over time, hopefully it'll get better. Newman says that also goes for the community as they continue to show their support and grieve the four young, beautiful lives gone too soon. Some I can can take more and some can take less, but I mean, we are all human, so it's going to it's going to take a toll no matter what. Yeah, it really does just take a toll on everyone. And human says that they started sending people to those training sessions last year, and they hope to send more first responders in the coming years. Live in Dearborn Heights, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. Well, Coco, what made them start going to the training in the first place? That's interesting. And you know what, Devin, um, Human was just saying that they realized that for so many years they had that attitude of you just kind of suck it up. And they realized that that just wasn't the right attitude yeah. because it just piles on one after another. And they realized that they just had to do something to help each other out. I understand that. All right, Coco.